Los Angeles is home to millions of people looking for a healthier lifestyle. Well, look no more. Your World Today is here and is a show offering you a wide array of topics to improve your quality of life. From a healthier living to making smarter decisions. Welcome to Your World Today. Hello and welcome to Your World Today. I want to give you the warmest of welcomes to our show. My name is Ofelia de la Torre and I'm very lucky to be sitting to this handsome young man. I'm Kerrigan Von Poli, and I'm equally uh -uh. as excited to be here with you today. So I'm going to call you Kerry because I don't want to mess up your name. That, I know that, that everybody me. tramples over it, <laughs> so I don't want to be the... It is, it is a tongue twister. Right, right. So Kerry, I'll pay you $5 if you can say our doctor, the, our, our next guest specialty. Well, I, I actually think his specialty is harder to say than my name. Maybe. Um, yes, it is. So we're very excited. I'll introduce him here and I'll, I'll try on a specialty. We're here with Dr. Jeff Trankel, who is, and I'm going to try this, otolaryngologist. Close. Hi. Did I get close? Hi, doctor. Yeah. Hi. How it's are a, you doing with your, with your it's a, uh, specialty? otolaryngology, so it there took you me go. a few years to figure it out myself. Okay. So really? Don't, don't feel too bad about it. <laughs> doctor, welcome to the show. Hi. Very, Thank very you. happy Thank to you. have I'm, you with I'm us. very happy to be here. So you were complaining of something? Uh, well, I was. When I came in here today, I was excited to see that we'd have a doctor of his. Ear, nose, his, and throat. Yeah, ENT. Can I call it that? ENT is just okay. fine, yeah. Because I was feeling a little congested, and I thought, hey, maybe our doctor could uh, tell me maybe some of the things that can cause congestion. A and... very common ailment, exactly. and we have, a, exactly. we have one of the best doctors from White Memorial Medical Center. Oh, doctor. Thank you. So is this very common? Yeah, it is. Uh, sinusitis is a problem that... Uh, <clears throat> that uh, about 70 million people suffer from al almost every single Seven year. Seven zero? Seven zero. It's, wow. a, it's a huge number. Uh, it, it's a problem throughout the country and in all climates and in all seasons. Um, it's basically a problem that has to do with your sinuses. The sinuses are cavities within the face. Uh, they're, they're just air-filled cavities and their, their job normally is to humidify and to filter the air that we breathe in through our nose. Uh, the problem is that sometimes the inside of the nose can get very congested, uh, whether that's from allergies from any different season or from dust and molds in your household, uh, or just different uh, anatomic problems in your nose from when you're breathing in for long periods of time. So when this happens, you get a lot of inflammation underneath the eyes, above the eyes, in all the different areas, in all the different sinuses, and that causes a lot of pain, a lot of pressure, difficulty breathing, headaches. drainage, headaches, a lot of headaches, um, any number of problems. Uh, all the way up to coughing, dizziness, uh, and sometimes even uh, leads to what people feel are migraines. Doctor, what can we do at home before we, we actually have to go see a doctor? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of over-the-counter allergy medications that a lot of people try first. Most people try them on their own, whether they're Claritin or Zyrtec or the things that you buy over the counter. Another good uh, product that's very safe and uh, very effective also for sinus disease is called uh, a sinus rinse kit or, or any of the, sa the saline sprays that you kind of see um, or the lavage systems that really rinse things out. Uh, they're usually, uh, you can find those at almost any pharmacy. Now I had a question too. Um, my wife's a nurse ah, and okay. so whenever I have something wrong she right. doesn't give me much sympathy. Um, <laughs> but that's another story. But I'm wondering, she said that there's sinuses not just in your nose but other places in your head. Is that correct? Uh, there are sinuses in other places. The, the ones that we talk, that we think uh, most commonly of are all in, inside your nose. Okay. But that being said, uh, it kind of depends how you're thinking of that within the nose because they are off to the sides, kind of underneath the eyes, above the eyes and the forehead here, and kind of all the way back between the eyes, and then there's two way in the back as well. Yeah. Doctor, in, in my culture, um, we use Vicks for everything. Yeah. And even to put up our nostrils, is mm -hmm. that, is that, are we on target there or no? Uh, well, no, not really. Vix has come <laughs> up with a great uh, product that basically tricks you into feeling like your nose is open. Right, it's right. It's the sensation, the smell that it comes up with, the, the, the smell that you're smelling, right. actually tricks your brain into feeling like everything's open when really it's the it, exact same. Oh, so okay. that has no effect on yeah. the actual None openness whatsoever. of the It's passages. psychological. It is, it okay, is. But, right. it, you know, whatever makes you feel good, right? <laughs> so when do we know we have to go to the doctor? When, um, I mean, if, blood or I don't know what... What if are you're the having a lot of symptoms, especially symptoms that are uh, driving you to seek help um, and you've tried some over-the-counter things and you've gone to your primary care or if you're having to be on antibiotics, you're going to your primary care, urgent care is over and over, 
um, and you've been on antibiotics multiple times in a year, at that point you have to think, you know, how much time I'm missing from work and days right. off of school or whatever it is, uh, and you have to weigh that kind of in, into when it's, it's time for you. But most people, because it's a quality of life issue, uh, they come in when, it's, when, when they know it's time for them to come in. And you mentioned dizziness is one of the potential symptoms, which mm -hmm. I, I imagine could be alarming to some people. Yeah, yeah. Usually that kind of accompanies with the headaches and the mm -hmm. pressure that you're getting in your face, and it just kind of makes you feel a little off balance. Um, doctor, also, uh, what about allergies? We, these, these symptoms can be mistaken for allergies? Yeah, usually they kind of come uh, at the same time as allergies. So allergies can happen uh, year-round, uh, whether it's in your household or whether it's summer, you know, spring, fall, it doesn't matter. It depends on the person's allergy. What the allergies do is they actually inflame the mucosa that's inside the nose, and it makes everything kind of, uh, it kind of closes Swollen? off the oh. holes that drain out the sinuses. And because of the allergies and chronically always having them, you get the symptoms. Doctor, don't don't go because we're going to go uh, on a commercial break. Mm -hmm. But when we come back, we're going to go do some exercise. And maybe you can t tell us if if we're sick, if it's okay to do exercise. Absolutely, yeah. All right, well, so hold that thought. We'll be right back. Don't go anywhere. Thank you for staying with us. This is Your World Today, and we're uh, having a great conversation with Dr. Trenkel from White Memorial Medical Center about all these uh, sinus problems and, and, and allergies and all that sort of fun stuff. And I wanted to ask you, doctor, what is a balloon sinuplasty? Uh, yeah, balloon sinuplasty is actually a really interesting uh, new technique. It's only been around for about a decade or mm -hmm. so. Um, what it does is it's a, a helpful way, it's a new kind of procedure that gives us a non-invasive way of dealing with uh, sinusitis and sinus type symptoms. Um, the idea behind it is that we put a balloon into the natural ostium or the drainage pathway of the sinuses and we use that to inflate open uh, what used to be very stenotic or closed down. Does and that open hurt? It I mean, it I just know, it, sounds, uh, it I, sounds a little invasive I, to me. I, I don't know. I, I, yeah. I want a balloon in my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually quite a bit less invasive than uh, previous sinus surgery. Um, other sinus surgery, we actually take away mucosa or kind of open them up mm -hmm. uh, un, more unnaturally. This way, we're just opening up the natural pathway. Um, we can actually do this as a surgery in the operating room with you asleep or even in the office uh, under just a local anesthetic. So it's not such a big, big deal. Exactly. It, it okay. gives uh, a lot of people that previously did not have a, anything to help with their sinus disease a, kind of a way out or maybe a reset button for their sinuses almost. So there's oh. an option for you. There's an option. <laughs> Is this something that you need to take then in, in conjunction with medications or uh, usually other? We, yeah, usually we only do that. Uh, do the procedure or, or a surgery after we've already exhausted all our, medi all our medications. So uh, when I get a patient who comes in to see me, I will try them on my medical therapy over and over until we get to a point where they're either sick of medicines and sure. they're like, this is not working anymore, uh, or you know, we get to that kind of end point, and then that's when I would offer something like this. So doctor, um, since I was a little girl, I've been hearing these, these, these macho guys saying, oh, I've got a bug and I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna work it out, I'm gonna destroy it, or I'm gonna just go and sweat it out. So I've never done it personally, so I'm asking you, does that, <laughs> is that true? Does it work? Do you not uh, aggravate the symptoms? Uh, well, I think if you are uh, well rested enough and you're feeling up to going to a gym or to exercising at home or whatever it may be, I don't think exercise is ever a bad thing. Um, it's always gonna kind of help you get to it. The only, I would only caution if you're feeling to the point where you can't make it to a gym or to do any exercise, obviously you don't want to do that. But yeah, I think that exercise definitely will help you get get through any cold symptoms or sinus symptoms or whatever it might be. You know, another thing that, it can be kind of funny sometimes right. when, you, when you have some sinus things, but your voice changes. What, what is it that causes your voice to change or you get a little squeaky or, or your you nose, don't sound or like Or your yourself. nose gets red. That's right. Yeah. Um, voice changes can be from any number of things. When you're sick, it's usually an inflammation down in your vocal cords or your voice box, basically. Um, anytime that there's any inflammation down there, they're very tenuous. Uh, even the smallest amount of in inflammation can cause a lot of voice changes. So that's generally when you're sick, what's causing the voice changes. Uh, doctor, I think that the, the grossest thing that can happen to one is the, the, the post-nasal drip, because mm -hmm. you can actually feel mm -hmm. the stuff. Yeah. Um, what, what can we do about that? 
Uh, well, most, most of the time the post-nasal drip is reacting to something, whether uh -huh. it's inflammation in the nose or inflammation in the throat. Um, and my job usually is to decipher which of those two it is or what's causing the drainage right. and uh, take care of that problem to make it stop. Right. So, Carrie, you said you had some post-nasal drip. And, and we're going to try and, some exercise, and I think. Yeah, so we should send them and do, yeah, some, absolutely. To do some exercise? All right. All right, kiddo. <laughs> Good luck. So, Doctor, I want to thank you so very much for being here with us and, and clarifying all of our doubts. Oh. And uh, we hope to have you here on the show again. I'd love to be back anytime you guys want me. Thank all you right. so much for having me. It's a deal. So we're going uh, to see Carrie get better with his post-nasal drip. <laughs>